Winter Olympics in Sochi. While athletes are competing a world away, we're thinking security for our own games being held right here in Northeast Ohio this summer. News Channel 5's Brian Archer tells us how the organizers of the gay games plan to keep the athletes and all of us safe. All eyes are on the 2014 Olympic Winter Games as opening ceremonies took place in Sochi, Russia. Security measures there may be some of the tightest ever. The world will be watching to see if Sochi's ring of steel will keep athletes and spectators safe. Also paying close attention, a Cleveland group bringing a similar event here. People representing 50 countries coming here and uh, participating in 36 sports cultural events, uh, opening and closing ceremonies. This year, the 2014 Gay Games is coming to Cleveland and Akron. The event is this August, with more than 10,000 athletes participating. Rob Smitherman is event coordinator for the Games. Of all the planning that goes into an event like this, one plan stands out above the rest. Security is, is one of the most important pieces of what we are preparing for. And that preparation involves all the area's major players. We're working with the City of Cleveland Police Department, with the uh, Cuyahoga County uh, Sheriff's Department, and various international, uh, national, uh, the FBI, and National Security Agency. Security expert Tim Dimoff says Akron and Cleveland, unlike Sochi, are ahead of the game. They're already used to dealing with big crowds. And I think because of that previous experience at major events in Cleveland, um, I think that they'll be able to jointly provide some very good security. Lessons learned in Sochi may help make the 2014 Gay Games a safer and more successful event. Live on 5 in Cleveland, I'm Brian Archer. And the Gay Games will be held at venues all across Northeast Ohio, August 9th through August 16th.